Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Zane JJ. Today we're coming back with a video talking about Legend Nano S Plus and of course this is a review and of course I will say that uh, I always have been like telling you guys, you guys have to own a crypto hardware wallet before you get into the cryptocurrency space because it is very vital if let's say your keys, you misplace it or your account get hacked and somebody just managed to get your 12 words or 24 words, that's it, all your money is gone. Imagine like putting your whole life savings or maybe let's say you are intending to basically uh, hedge into crypto maybe you buy like a 50,000 or maybe like half a million worth of cryptocurrency and you just put it on the software wallet like metamask or maybe the trust wallet and after that one fine day you just went back and say oh my fucking god everything is gone so you do not want that to happen so in this video i'm gonna tell you what is the pros and cons about this and of course show, show you some of my collections that i have with ledger and of course with this latest ledger nano s plus which is gonna be added into my collection so disclaimer first yes i'm affiliated with them i mean like yeah basically just trying to promote the chat uh, promote the uh, product and after that from there i get some affiliates slash commission fees but of course ledger is one of the hardware wallet that i keep on using and after i would say day-to-day -day basis i'm using it and storing my crypto so yeah disclaimer it is not financial advice it is all up to you and after that to basically decide if you want to buy it or not so we are going to jump into the topic itself basically going to talk about what is ledger so for those who are living like in the cape or maybe you are new to the crypto itself ledger is a hardware wallet basically something like this a small device that look like a thumb drive but of course you don't you don't just open it and after that you plug you don't plug it in to the, the into the PC or whatever there's a cable for you to connect it and after that it is a hardware wallet which has been tested and of course I would say in the crypto space for many many years and I would say it's very reputable because you will want to basically buy a hardware wallet that is reputable slash being pen tested before over and over and after that also went through like hackathons and after that from there the results were flawless and after that there is no bugs or whatsoever and of course their company itself they provide a bounty program which for those who are uh, professional in hacking you can basically try to break the device and of course if you manage to find something that is flawed or whatsoever you can just submit it to them and of course from there they can yeah reward you with money and i would say it can goes up to like five hundred thousand or even one hundred thousand depending on what kind of flaws that you found and after that from there i would say um uh yeah, Ledger itself is a cold storage wallet for most who know about uh, cryptocurrency and the terminology. So comparing it with your software wallet, basically like MetaMask or Binance Smart Chain wallet, or maybe you say, oh, I have a trust wallet. And then after that, from there, you say, oh, my keys are safe. But of course, if let's say your device get hacked, you receive some random email. And after that, from there, you click on the link accidentally. And of course, they lock some key loggers in or maybe your device get um hacked by viruses or malware and after that from there they manage to steal your private keys and after that from there yeah basically all your money is gone and of course by owning a hardware wallet itself you will basically need to write the words on a piece of paper not online because if you put the 12 words or 24 words online you can get hacked and of course this happened to one of my friends and i would say that uh, if you're owning a hardware wallet please always write it on a piece of paper and store it properly do not put it online because if you put it online might as well don't buy a hardware wallet, am I right? And of course, for the use case of hardware wallet itself, if you want to, you can connect it with your MetaMask and of course with other Web3 developer like software, like your Trust Wallet and after that Wallet Connect or whatsoever. Uh, using the Legend Nano X itself, you can use the Bluetooth option that Ledger is offering. And of course, I would say, yeah, basically this device itself is unhackable. And after that, I would say, uh, not really unhackable, but of course, so far, nobody has like managed to hack it in a wide, wide scale and after the draining funds and after that, I would say basically what they claim itself is your money own it. So as we all say in the crypto space, if it's not your private keys, it's not your funds. So if you are talking about, oh, I have a million dollar in the exchange, it is not your money, dude. If let's say the exchange started rug pull or uh, let's say just exit scam on you, that's it, man. Your money is all gone. It's not your money. So you don't, you technically don't own the $1 billion. It's the exchange owning it. And of course, I would say having it on this itself, this is a tiny little bank that you want to call it. And after that, from there, you can store your funds in. And right now, we're going to basically jump into the Legend Nano S, uh, this Genesis edition. All right. So those who are owning the hardware wallet itself, Legend Nano S itself, you might be thinking like, okay, why is this S Plus suddenly came out with this S Plus? And you can just see it is a bigger screen, more memory. And after that, the world most popular wallet itself just got better. Basically, the Nano S itself is very cheap, to be honest. And after that, from there, right now, they're just selling the S Plus. And if you are using the Nano S itself previously, you know that. All right. So this, uh, the Nano S itself has a limited uh, memory capability. Basically, you can only install like maybe three application or maybe maximum four. If let's say you your application is just nice for the size. And after that, from there, I would say 
nothing much and after that if you need to like basically assess a lot of wallet you need to delete the app and after that install the app again it is kind of hassle and after that from there it's kind of frustrating if let's say you're using a lot of wallets so basically they have this new version itself is the nano s plus and i believe that this over here works the same as the nano x uh, nano s itself instead it is just yeah, basically an upgraded version for bigger screen bigger memory and of course we can just scroll down basically you know um this this uh Genesis Edition itself, they are releasing a one thousand, ten thousand worth of this NFT for you to basically own it. If let's say you are the first few that purchased, only the first ten thousand people that purchased this Nano, uh, Nano S Plus Genesis uh, Edition itself, pre-order yours and receive an exclusive NFT with it. So it will come together. I don't know how they're gonna issue the code or whatsoever, but I'm just waiting. And of course, it's the first come first serve. If you want to use the link down below, and after that, grab your uh, exclusive like. Uh, Nano S Genesis Edition plus an NFT which is gonna worth who knows how much man to be honest and after that from there safeguard your crypto NFT and we can scroll down you can basically manage five five thousand five hundred digital assets with um, Ledger itself and of course more memory lets you have over 100 application installed uh, simultaneously basically you can keep using the the application uh, this hardware device itself to basically assess all of your crypto without going to the Ledger Live to uninstall install uninstall install and after that from there it's gonna waste a lot of your time and it's frustrating so i would say you can also manage your nft on the ledger live itself and of course enjoy a smoother uh, user experience so you can see the button over here is kind of new if let's say you want to compare it with the old one i can just show you the nano s itself so the nano s itself buttons look similarly the same i would say almost the same Yep, it's just two buttons for you to tap around with so i would say it's left right and after double tap to confirm so it's the same concept uh, on their device itself and over here you can see the nano s itself for singaporeans is selling at one two one sing dollars uh gsd and duty not included of course and of course right now i'm gonna basically jump into the past collection from ledger and why am i so excited about this s plus uh this s plus genesis edition so over here this is the first collectible that i have from ledger itself they basically released the white paper limited edition to celebrate the 10th anniversary of bitcoin and of course i own i bought two of these and after that it is a nano s I would say and after that yeah basically it's a white paper edition and it is kind of sleek looking the packaging and everything so i bought two of it this is the first collection that I ever went into and bought the legend nano s to basically do a collectible so to be honest i am a hardware a hardware wallet slash crypto collector which is somehow like i would say i have a box full of my collections but i'm not displaying out because i do not have enough space in the house so you can see there's a baby cot over here and after that the, the room itself does not have enough space so i can't really um you know like display out everything on the back itself if let's say next time i move to my own uh, new house i will definitely display it on the back and of course the next collectible itself is the what i have on hand itself is the 2019 um january uh, nano x itself when they just first released their nano x version the nano x uh, hardware wallet itself they released the genesis block edition so i already gotten it and i'm using it right now so you can see there's an engraving engraving behind it i don't not sure if you can see it so i'm just gonna open up the screen all right so we here you can see this is the genesis block um yeah basically the edition 2019 and after that over here is the nano x itself works the same way two button over here for you to click so why did i like it? i bought it and after that i wanted to do a uh, save it as a collection but of course eventually i'm like thinking the nano nano s itself is yeah, basically I need to keep installing and uninstalling app and I do not like it and of course the user interface itself I mean like because of the installing and of course the hassle itself I am a bit tilted with it so I yeah I wanted to buy another Ledger Nano X but then the Ledger Nano X itself is kind of expensive at two three nine sing dollars and I'm thinking I already have one of it might as well I just use it right so yeah I use it and after that the, the next collection that I do not currently own is basically the Hublot uh, edition with Ledger itself. This is a very limited edition that is sold out. And of course, I would say it's basically the Hublot. Uh, if you want to know more about this, it's basically a well well known a watch brand itself. They have came out with this collaboration with Ledger. And of course, I would say the device and the watch itself, I think it comes together and it's going to cost a bomb. But of course, I do not have the money to buy it and of course do it as like a collectible. So they basically came out with this watch. And after that, I would say it's kind of slick, <clears throat> to be honest. Um, package with the legend nano x where they will be available with the watch and after that it's a finished in matte black decorated with both ledger and uh, hoplot logos on it and i would say that this collection itself is a 
collaboration with the Hoblot um, luxury brand, I would say, if you want to talk about the watches brand itself, it's kind of luxury and kind of expensive. So this collection itself, I do not have it, but of course, I own the Nano S itself, and of course, the Nano X launch of this first edition hardware wallet that I'm currently using. And of course, I would say right now, it's the S Plus Genesis. Why am I so excited about this, and did I buy it? So over here to show you the proof that I bought it. So over here, this is the confirmation page of my order. And after that, yeah, basically I bought it. And I would say that, yeah, I'm excited to wait for it to arrive. So the shipment will start on around the 20th of March, if I'm not wrong, or late March. So basically, I bought the Nano S Plus Edition Genesis. Uh, when I saw their Instagram itself, I think one hour after that, after they post, I straight away saw it and after that, I was about to sleep and I just woke up and straight away head over to the website to buy it using Crypto.com Pay and of course, if let's say you want to sign up for Crypto.com and use their Pay itself, you can use CRO to purchase this hardware wallet and of course, get a 5% rebate when you go, when you are transacting using CRO only and after that, I would say, yeah, very excited about this addition because of the free NFT that they are offering, the basically the first 10,000 NFT that they are offering, but of course, I do not know uh, if it's still available. Uh, please do not take my words for it because 10,000 itself, you must know these units or this kind of ledger stuff is selling like hotcakes, and I would say that plus the NFT being exclus exclusively included into this Genesis edition itself, I believe that this will probably sell 10,000 units or more quickly, and of course, I do not know if I gotten it. Uh, gotten into this NFT itself because I ordered it after one hour from their official launch and after that from their, their Google itself I believe that they have like sent out emails for those who have bought it before they have sent it uh, after I think six hours from the launch so I would say yeah, hopefully I, I gotten into the free NFT airdrop by buying the Ledger Nano uh, I mean the Nano S S Plus Genesis Edition and of course we can look at it. It's quite quite sleek and after that I would really love the design that they are doing. So over here there's a yeah let's rotate it back. So over here we can see there's a like a Genesis logo itself and after that I would say something similar to the Nano X that I purchased the Genesis thingy. So yeah basically I'm very excited to it and after that if you want to take a gamble slash uh if you want to how I put it secure your funds properly and after they do not own any hardware wallet this is the best time for you to basically buy the nano s plus genesis edition because you might be the lucky uh few to basically purchase for purchase and after they receive the exclusive nft so you can see that they are promoting this like shit basically if you click on it it's gonna just hover over limited edition of 10,000 units exclusive nft so my goal to buy this itself is first of all yes i love to collect the hardware itself and after that explore it and of course the next thing is basically a plus bonus exclusive nft if i bought it, bought it early definitely happy for me and after that i would say yeah why not getting why not get it man and of course it's all up to you no financial advice is given so i've come to the end of the video if you like the video kindly smash the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification and i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye peace